Left commentary during the best set of the day. So today we have uh, Malik versus Upside Down. I'm pretty excited. He's probably, he being Malik, is probably gonna go for. Uh, oh, he's actually playing Ike. I'm kind of surprised. He said that he was likely gonna play Roy in this, but I don't think Ike does very well into Robin. I'm sure Roy does a lot better just because of his speed and the just overwhelming Robin entirely. No jump on upside down. Uh, you see, not quite killing yet. Ledge trap for Maddox. See the forward tilt. <laughs> Let's go. So, okay. Maddox with a little bit of a lead, but he hasn't really cut on 8% yet, so as, soon, as long as Caleb can close this one out pretty soon, then it's pretty much an even game. Caleb, uh, I would say I'm losing a lot of Levin Sword on this. Throws up the Elf under, Medic smart enough to go under, it should be dead here, not quite, going for forward air instead of Nair. Harsh with a great DI. Elf is off the stage. Like I said earlier, Harsh took the stock around 80%, and he's yet to hit up to down. It's me, I'm Gallon, I will meet. Yeah, so now we're back to even, despite Harsh's early stock, just because he didn't get anything off of his stock lead. Easy grab combos from Ike. Man, Jeez, spicy this. Definitely saw Upside Down's jump to take me. Upside Down's been jumping out of a lot of these things. And I'm wondering if Harsh is gonna yeah, hit him with like a nair and jump right up here. Good jump there. Uh, classic Upside Down air dodge. Upside Down seems like he's always picking an option right out of his gun. Something that I am famous for doing. But. He's been either air dodging or double jumping out of hit stun every time. And as soon as Harsh can catch onto that, we have a, a dead up there. I should know back here. Yeah, I have to. Gets over that no arc fire left. Gets back to stage pretty easily with arc with Robin without arc fire. Yep, still no life fire, gets punished. Uh, I was gonna say a lot. Uh, <laughs> let's see if Harsh can get some extra credit this time. Relatively really hard time getting momentum started on these stuff. Relatively similar percents to last time, uh, where Harsh was able to kill upside down only at about 80%. Yeah. I have a wire if you want it. Alright. What did he do, Robbie? I gave him my pro controller to borrow. Did you lose yours? Did you lose yours? Uh, I lost the Bulldog and the Bulldog. Actually, never mind. Sorry. I got out of the Bulldog and I won. You know what happened to mine? Yeah, you guys don't have to do this. Oh. Yeah, I heard That is going to be it. That's why I pulled it off. Harsh going up 1 0 in the set. Alright, I'm a weak man, I need coffee. Yeah, you're fine. Alright. So I'm curious what this counter is gonna be, because I know Caleb's or Upside Down's a very big never mind, I was gonna say he's a big fan of not going back. Just any open cell. And over comms, you can in fact hear one of our admins, Spoon Cats, yelling to absolutely no one. <laughs> okay. Bit of a slow start. Let's see what exactly Matt can get now to. Then. Not much happening so far. Caleb poking his way in a little bit. Almost out of pretty much all of his resources. He's got like two 11 hits. He's got one thunder left. Uh, one, now one thunder left. He's out of 11. Now he's got to rely 
pretty much exclusively on Hardfire and Grab and Bronze Sword. Big opportunity for Mad Ike here. As 11 back, so we're seeing a lot more uh, conversions from upside down, big damage. Gets him off the stage. That, not quite, goes to the forward air instead of the back air. Up B, not quite working out. Could have arc fired, I think. See the roll on? No, great. Get up attack. Pretty dead even game. Let's see the forward spell? Okay. Not quite getting Ike's grab. Good call out with the back air. Matic with the. See if he can get more extra credit like he did on that second stock last time. Fire Shepard. Or Fire is dead, yeah. Even two stock game. Goes that Tomahawk misses due to Ike's grab range again. Big combo from up there now. Gets two uppers. Ike above you. Now without a jump. Gets the arc fire. Uh, charges arc thunder. Good reaction on the roll there. Caleb in big control here. Big control from up there down. Uh, Maddox seeming to go high a lot now. So we'll see if... Uh, I love that on catches on with that. I, I appreciate that a lot because I feel like he's uh, going high to skip the ledge portion entirely because that's where most of his uh, his stock losses have come from. Goes for the forward air, gets him off stage. Great conversion from Mad Ike taking the lead. That shot gets him off stage. No high recovery. Upside down, seemingly ready for it. Back to an even, even game, one stock apiece. Okay. Let's see what upside down is getting started. Gets the down throw in there. This is the deck He's got two more thunders. Or enough thunder, I guess. Off stage. Mad Ike missing the Nair Fair, but okay, great conversion. Grabs 11 sword. Okay, gets jab three. Robin's jab three, very good. Arc fire gets the grab. Just for another arc fire. No roll read. He reacts, but a little too late. Let's see if Harsh gets to the. Oh, he goes for down air instead of down tilt. That it should... No, he gets off stage. See the elf under. Oh, he gets the weak hit of fair. He, re he reacts to the roll again. He's not doing the down smash, and that is going to be the set for Mad Ike.